Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. Today we have another Japanese character origin video, which will go into depth to see where their design inspiration comes from, as well as to give you a better background of what the original character is all about. So today, we'll be talking about Rayolite from Yokai Watch 2. Rayolite is a rank C fire attribute yokai of the Heartful Tribe. He has blue eyes, a beaming smile, and obviously a sun-shaped head. He's always in a white tuxedo, and to make sure you don't miss out on his sun imagery, he even has a sunflower clip on his tux. He wears a cloud-like scarf wrapped around his arms to top it all off. If you watched last week's episode on Griselda, you would know that Rayolite is the exact opposite of her. He has a confident personality, calls himself a romantic, and would pursue the heart of his love interest with persistence. However, in the anime, it seems like that's all there is to his skill at the pursuit. Beyond constantly hounding Drizella and professing his love, his tactic doesn't get much more complicated than that. The only thing that seems to be able to hurt his own self-confidence is when Drizella blocks his advances. Obviously, they eventually fall in love and become the most beloved couple in Yokai Watch 2, so Rhea Light is definitely doing alright. With his personality the exact opposite of Drizella, his abilities are also the exact opposite as well. Rayolite brings sunshine with him wherever he goes no matter the forecast. His presence, together with Drizelda, actually negates her rainmaking power and ends up creating clear weather and rainbows. However, his ability becomes weakened every time he is turned down by Drizelda. So, where is Rayolite inspired from anyways? There could be two possibilities. There is actually a yokai that calls forth the sun and creates good weather just like Ray of Light. His name is Hiyoribo. Hiyoribo is a yokai from the Ibaraki prefecture who lives deep in the mountains and can only be seen on sunny days. On rainy days or days with bad weather, he remains hidden in the mountains. It is believed that Hiyoribo is another form of a yokai called Hiderigami, who has the power to cause droughts. Hiyoribo has the appearance of a monk with a bald head and long ears. The legend of Hiderigami started in prehistoric China. A tribal leader named Chiyo was preparing weapons and gathered monsters to fight a deity named Huangdi. Huangdi sent a dragon to fight him instead, and the dragon used a great flood to trap Chiyo. Chiyo countered the floods by bringing in weather wizards, and the dragon got defeated shortly. Huangdi then sent a bald goddess to fight Chiyo. That bald goddess eventually defeated Chiyo, but lost her godly powers along the way. Unable to return to the heavens, she stayed in the north of China, where there were lots of droughts and cursed everywhere she went, which is how she became a yokai of drought. Remember making paper ghosts for Halloween in elementary school? Apparently Japanese kids do it too, but for a totally different reason. In Japan, these paper ghosts are called teru teru bozu, which is made to be an amulet to bring good weather or to stop and prevent a rainy day. Teru means sun, and Bozu means monk, which refers to Hiyoribo, as he has the appearance of a monk and is also known for his ability to create good weather on command. Rayolite is not visually inspired from any of these yokai, but his ability to avert bad weather and find sun wherever he is makes it quite obvious where his origins lie. So, what did you think of Rayolite? As usual, let me know in the comments below. Follow Tokyosaurus on Twitter and Facebook for updates on our newest videos and Japan-related tweets. Like the video if you want more like this, and subscribe so you can get the latest videos right in your inbox. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.